It's your eighth tournament with England as player and manager, which is a record. What's the overriding feeling going into this one? Well, I'm as excited as I was for the first. Of course, every, every tournament is slightly different and the lead-in slightly different, but also that feeling of the week before is very familiar. You know, there's a little bit of anxiety around the camp because everybody wants to get going. But, yeah, huge excitement. What's the standout quality of this squad? I think they have strong belief. They've got great experiences of big matches that they've come through together. Um, that's also balanced now by a lot of new players with tremendous energy and excitement. So relationships are still forming in some regards and the group are getting to know each other very quickly, but they've got a good feel about them. Jude Bellingham is squad number 10. Is that where he'll start for you? Well, he'll, he'll run forward a lot and he'll uh, be a threat on goal without a doubt. Uh, he's obviously played for Madrid as a false nine stroke 10 all season and we'd be crazy not to take advantage of that goal scoring form that he's had with them this season. Trent Alexander-Arnold hasn't started too many games for England in midfield. What can he bring to that role? Well, he has a, as good a passing range as anybody in world football, really. He's been really invested in learning, um, really invested in understanding all aspects of the game in that role. I've enjoyed working with him on that uh, project, if you like, for the last 12 months. And um, his mentality and his attitude towards it has been absolutely first class. Is Trent Alexander-Arnold ready to start in that position? Well, we, we believe so. We think he can offer something that we don't have. We think he can give the team a different dimension. And as I said, he's really been diligent in understanding the role. You said if we want to be a big team and I want to be a top coach, you have to deliver in the big moments. What's the missing element this squad must find? Well, different to the last squad, really, because um, you, you, of course, learn from the experiences you've been through, but this tournament will throw up different challenges. Every game will throw up different problems, and you have to be able to so solve those problems when they come. Carl Walker said bravery. We need to be brave. Well, we will be brave. You can see the squad we've picked. The, the profile of our midfield, for example, is going to be different, and that's going to lend itself to a different way of playing. Your eighth tournament as player or manager, is this your last chance? I think you have to view every tournament as your last chance. It doesn't matter if you're 19 or 53. Um, you, you can't predict what the future's going to have. And yeah, you, you, have, you have an opportunity in front of you that could be your best chance and you have to take it. Serbia, first game Sunday, what's the challenge? Very well organised team, very disciplined in the way they defend. I think with all of these opening games you've got to have resilience, you've got to have a calmness under pressure, you've got to keep your discipline. Um, if games get physical, um, you've got to be able to compete but keep your discipline. And are England getting the best version of Gareth Southgate after all these tournaments, all these years? Do you, do you feel ready for anything? I feel ready and I'm a better manager than I was six months ago and a year ago, but of course you know, time will tell whether that's actually going to uh, translate itself into results. But this could be the time. That's what we're here for. We're here to win, so we know that's a really complicated journey, but the first objective is always to qualify. We wish you all the best, Gareth. Thanks, Gavin. Here we are then, Roy. Lots of now or never headlines in England, and if England don't win the Euros, would you say, given how good their attacking players are, that over the last four tournaments with three near misses, that they and Gareth Southgate have underachieved? Um, I don't know if I'd be that, I'd use that strong a word. Yeah. I think it obviously would be disappointed. But when you look at the group of players he's got now, I think the attacking players he's got in his group is as good as any team in the tournament. The biggest worry for me, and I look at their squad, is defensively. I think that's a big problem. I think they will have to score a lot of goals because they'll be giving up goals. But certainly he's got four, four or five World-class players would walk into any of the other teams, and that's a big plus, but there's always that worry with their defence. When you look at who's won Euros or World Cups this century, pretty much, well, every major footballing nation has won something. Dutch won Euro 88 as well. They've been to a World Cup final, had them in there. England haven't. 
Is it now psychological? Has it reached a stage where England's failure to win something is actually the, the shirt and how heavily it weighs at critical moments? I think this, that's the same for, for all the nations. It's just they, they, they take that next step. We've done it now. We've shown that we are capable of getting to the latter stages of competitions. Um, and like Gareth said, we have to now try to take that last step. But, you know, we're, 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 we're trying. You're getting there. You're, you're getting there. And that's the main thing, getting there. Getting to the latter stages and anything can happen. I think he's done brilliant to get us to that stage. And like he mentioned there, which I'm quite excited about, is the midfield. Can't wait to see it. And then we'll see how we play from there. But I have to agree with Roy to a certain extent with the defensive side of it. Depends on how we get on down there. This is the hardest step, though, Graham, isn't it? You can get, you can get into a position, whether club or country, of challenging... But is this not the hardest step of all, the last step? Oh, to win trophies is difficult. I, I would say they have underachieved. I believe with this group of players, he should have been the manager should have been a bit more progressive. He should have been more uh, on the front foot. I think the interesting thing in that interview, he said, the question was, are you brave enough? He said, well, you look at the midfield, we'll pick, yeah, we're certainly brave enough. That would suggest to me, he's not going to play with two holding midfield players uh, and he's going to go for it a bit more. And I look back in their games, Certainly against France, when the um, once were a lot of a lead in the second half, they were a better team than France. I, I, you know, you, you, a game of football, you don't, yeah, you start and you're, you're you're aware of the dangers from opposition, but once you get beyond that, you go after it. You know, you had a feel, you know, the guy you're in against, you know, if he's quicker, he's not quite what he's good at. And I just feel that with England, they've been a little bit cautious in their approach. And I feel with this group of players, they've got so much firepower, they they should be willing to take anyone on. I would counter that by saying what both the guys have, have said. Defensively, a wee bit short. Maybe that's why in the past he's gone with two holding midfield players. But I think now is the time to let all those players off the line. His squad says he is going to be braver. Yeah, well, well, well courage, courage comes from the, the players on the football yeah. pitch, but also comes from the manager and the staff. And these tight games where, again, going that last bit, and maybe Garrett's learned his lessons. He's vast experience. has been mentioned there, eight tournaments. He knows it. maybe this could be his last one, like he said. So the bravery will come from the manager and the staff making them brave decisions, whether it be after an hour. Don't be waiting and waiting. And also, obviously, ultimately, it does come from the players.